Hi, this is Sharon. I wanted to talk about a dream I had this morning, which I believe is God, because the devil is not going to tell you that the rapture is getting ready to take place. And what the title of what I'm saying tonight would be He said, the rapture is getting ready to take place. In the dream, there was a lot of distraction. I was standing, I don't even know where I was at, but my oldest daughter was standing next to me in a dream, kind of like following me around in a dream. And there was a man of God that appeared and I think he was on my, you know, left-hand side. And she was on my right side. He looked up at me. And the man of God, I could tell he was a man of God. He looked right up at me and told me, the rapture is getting ready to take place. And in the dream, there was some in-between distraction. Seemed like it was distraction. My oldest daughter disappeared in a dream, and the dream jumped to the second man of God. The second person said, the second man of God, the rapture is getting ready to take place. And in this time, I asked him, would you please pray for me, sir? Pray for God to let me make the rapture. Please pray for me. And the man of God said, you got to pray for yourself. And I started praying for myself. But the man of God put his hand out. Oh, he didn't touch me, but he put his hand over. He put his hand out over my head. I think I was on my knees. I had my hands raised. I was tearing for the Holy Ghost. Like they did in the book of Acts. I was tearing again. I was tearing for the Holy Ghost. And... He started praying for me and I started speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gave utterance. Again, got the refilling of the Holy Ghost. I'm not in the best condition at the present moment, but I pray to be before the rapture. Anyway, as he was praying for me and I was tearing, I was tearing for the Holy Ghost when Jesus told those apostles, those disciples, go tear it. Terry for the Holy Ghost until you're endured from power on high. That's Acts 1 and 8. And obey Acts 2, 38 for salvation. And the evidence of receiving a gift of the Holy Ghost at Acts 2, 1 through 4. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. And further down in the book of the second chapter of Acts, Peter told them, he talked about the history of, you know, Israel and the history of the history of the biblical history of mankind through from Genesis to Revelations you know from Abraham to Revelations I think he was going he brought up King David something like that and anyway um he said they killed the prophets of old Israelites and the Israel asked what shall we do and then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you, and to your children, and to all them that are far off, and with many other words that he exhort, testifying, save yourselves from this untoward generation, save yourselves, then it goes to where they were, had daily bread together, and they, they, uh, Believed the apostolic doctrine, Acts 2.42. Well, anyway, as the man of God put out his hand over my head, he was praying for me. I was tearing for the Holy Ghost. I started speaking in tongues in a dream. And then I spoke in tongues a little bit in the dreams. You know, it seemed like maybe about 10 minutes, I'm guessing, or 15 minutes. The dream jumped into something else. I was in my van 
the van was putting. It wasn't driving right. It was putting. It was going uh slow and the engine was very in real life I got a bad my engine is going bad. That part could be a multitude of business, I'm not sure. If anybody is welcome to write down if there's any interpretation of the dream, you're welcome to write down you know, if God has given anybody anything, um, I'm telling the dream as a dream, but I do believe it was of God because the devil is not going to tell anybody that the rapture is getting ready to take place. Um, well, in a dream anyway, it, after I was speaking in tongues, the dream jumped into me, putting real slow, going down the road, and I was looking a lot of beautiful grass in the country. I think I saw like like little tiny hill, tall hills, like mountain like, and it was grassy and everything. And I heard a voice say, "The seven year tribulation is getting ready to start. It's going to be starvation and famine. The seven year tribulation is getting ready to start." starvation and famine and then my alarm off of one of my phones rang and I woke up but I wanted to put out about this dream because I think it's really significant I believe it's of God if anybody has any more interpretation of the dream let me know but I just wanted to say and I do believe it. The rapture is getting ready to take place. We don't have any time left. And if we want to make the rapture. And the initial salvation. You must repent for your sins. Ask God for godly sorrow. Get, ask God for a change of mind. That's having a change of mind. That God will change your mind. And grant you godly sorrow for all your sins. Then in order to go be caught up in the rapture, you need to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Tarry and seek God until you feel with the Holy Ghost. And then we have to live right. We have to, you know, do God's will and everything. Live right. And be led of God and everything. I just wanted to put out the dream. I don't normally say anything on YouTube, but... I just wanted to put out the dream, you know, the rapture is getting ready to take place.